Welcome to my WWE SummerSlam 2013 predictions and let's begin. Let's start with the Divas match. We have Natalia with the Funkadactyls versus Brie Bella with Eva Marie and uh, Nikki Bella. And I think Brie's going to win it because, um, because of the show with Total Divas. Um, they are more, they're more, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, in the show they're, they're more of a focus so that's why, that's why I'm taking Brie. In mixed tag team action, we have Dolph Ziggler and Caitlyn versus Biggie Langston and AJ. And I'm going to go with the faces because they really need this win. <laughs> and yeah, eventually, yeah, eventually Caitlyn probably going to win the title back and Ziggler is going to go face um, Langston one more time and win. Wait, and win? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. So yeah, I'll t I'm taking uh, Dolph and Dolph and Caitlyn and Next, we got a Ring of Fire match with Ken and Bray Wyatt. And I'm thinking Bray Wyatt because he's officially new to the company. I mean, exclude that Husky Harris stuff. <laughs> but, but yeah, I heard, I heard a rumor that Kane's going to go film a movie. So if it, so that so if, so that if that is true, then it w then most likely you know Kane's going to lose and be out for a while. And and yeah, so yeah, so that's why I'm taking Bray Wyatt. Next up, we have Cody Rhodes versus Damian Sandow and. Luckily, the bri luckily the briefcase is not in line this time, <laughs> unlike you know like previous times. But I'm gonna give it to Sandow because well, Cody Rhodes, even though he's just new, he's new at being a face. Yeah, I don't want him to officially win this rivalry, well, at least not yet. So have him lose the first match, and then people can hopefully get behind him, and then he'll win eventually. And when that when, when that feud is done, Sandow will then cash in the briefcase, but right now Sandow's winning. Next to the World Heavyweight Championship, we have Alberto Duro versus Christian in one more match. <laughs> and even though Christian has been pretty much on a roll lately, beating Del Rio like maybe twice in the last month or yeah, last month I think, and everyone else is beating him, I think Del Rio's gonna take it just because of that logic. Next up we have the best versus the beast. We have CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman as you know, on the ringside and I'm gonna give it to Brock because he needs this victory more than ever since she when was his last match was it Mania? might have been Mania but yeah it, 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 it would give a chance for Punk to you know win the win the rivalry eventually but as of now as of now just like how just like how I talked about the Sandow match yeah, Les News will win this. And finally, for the WWE Championship, we have John Cena versus Daniel Bryan. And I'm going to have John Cena winning. But this is how it's going to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to guess that Cena's going to put Bryan in the SDF. And then Bryan, Bryan's not going to tap out. And Triple H is going to, we don't want to ask him if he wants to, if he wants to quit. And, Bryan, and Bryan's not going to quit. And then he'll just pass out. Just like how Stone Cold passed out, like what, 95? Or 97, whatever it was, like when he was playing the sharpshooter. So yeah, that's that's what things are happening. And eventually, and eventually, you know, like probably Monday night, Cena's so gonna give Brian another shot because since he didn't technically win, well, he won, but he didn't make him. He, 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 there was no pain or submission. So yeah, Cena's winning, but that's that's my finish. And those are my predictions. And until next time.